Comics podcast in the Awesome Sauce Comics studio. Um, you know, uh, if you hear any background noise, uh, the landlord is doing some improvements in the house, I think, or something like that. So, if you hear some banging, you know, you go bang, 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 you know, just ignore it. Or listen to another freaking podcast. You don't have to listen to this one. I got telling everyone. Since day one. If you don't like anything you hear or you see in the Awesome Sauce Comics Arena, do me a favor. You see? This is a keyboard. See? Keyboard. It's got lots of keys. It's got the home row keys, you know, your A, A, S, D, F. You get your G and your H. They're kind of useless. They just help you find, figure out where you're on the, on the keyboard. Then you got the AKL semicolon. Your keys, you got an enter key, you got a, a slash, you got, one, so you got keys that will call a prostitute, you got uh, you know, other keys that will like help you find stuff on eBay, you can turn this into a soundboard, you know, but there's a key for the volume, and there's also a key to go back to the main menu of motherfucking YouTube and find something else you like if you don't like what I'm doing. There's a noble concept. You don't have to listen to my crap if you don't want to. I mean, I 
very, very thankful and very, great, very, very grateful to the Awesome Sauce family for, uh, you know, supporting me for 37 episodes now. So I'm going to have another interview later on in the week. Um, may even call in during my I'm doing this episode. Who knows? Um, but, uh, you know, if you don't like what I'm doing, you won't have to stay. Testify! Testify! <laughs> you know, um, but, uh, now that I've gotten that out of my system, uh, you know, basically it's June 16th, 2015, and back in, I opened up with, uh, you know, a bunch of really cool clips. Uh, including the Adventures of Superman theme and the Frosted Flakes, because they're great! You know, commercial from the 1950s. Because uh, on this day back in 1959, the Superman, the curse, the super, the curse of Superman claimed its first victim in George Reeves. Now, uh, by doing some research, it looks like Jack Jack Lemon, who played Jimmy Olsen, is the only surviving cast member. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some more research on the Googles. I'm going to write Mr. Mr. Larson a letter and see if I can interview him for the podcast. Um, you know, because uh, June is not a good month for other, for actors who play Superman. On June 2nd, 1995, Christopher Reeves, never you listen to George, you know, uh, had the infamous accident with the horse, where he was doing the riding show, he missed the jump, and became paralyzed. On two, two, October 10th, 2004, where he lost his heroic battle with paralysis. And to the douchebag... Who wrote, and I don't remember who, remember who wrote it, or to anyone who thinks that Christopher Reeve isn't the hero, do yourself a favor. Go get some therapy. I mean, the man fought valiantly from 1997 to 2004 for things that we take for granted, being able to walk and move and breathe. And he, he started the Christopher Reeve Foundation to find a cure. And they're still working on finding a cure. I buy dog tags every so often for them. Really cool dog tags and keychains. Go to the Christopher Reeve Foundation.org and buy a couple keychains. Ah, a couple. Ah, dog tags. Support the cure for paralysis. If you're a fan of Christopher Reeves, Superman 1 through 4, well, maybe not four, but I'm sure Superman four with the nuclear when he fights the nuclear man. Um, you know, and I think uh, the actor who played, you know, Lex Luthor's nephew in there is actually the Alan Harper from Two and a Half Men. You know, I didn't look up the actor's name because I'm kind of lazy sometimes, but you know, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um. But, uh, you know, uh, today we lost, in 1959, George Reeves passed away from a gunshot wound to the head. Um, some people say it's suicide. Some people say he was murdered. And if you watch the Ben Affleck movie Hollywoodland, it explores that. Now, to all the player haters, you want to drink the play a hate of Kool Aid? Who don't think Ben Affleck's gonna be a kick ass Batman? I say, poppycock. Poppycock on you. Poppycock! Poppycock! That's what we testify! Testify! Awesome sauce! You know, uh. But, uh, you know. Because Ben Affleck's gonna make an awesome Batman. And the proof is in the pudding. So all you have to do is watch Hollywoodland, where he played George Reeves. Even though they didn't use any footage from the Superman show. I mean, he, he did a phenomenal job, has the look. 
That's why I think he's going to make a great Bruce Wayne. And if you all want to testify, testify, you can email me at comicpimpvip at gmail, or leave a voicemail on the Awesome Sauce hotline at 201-675-2104. Rapping. Knocking on my chamber door. Don't know what's going on. Don't really have to care. Um, because, now getting back to George. You know, George Reeves was an American veteran. He fought in World War. It was either one or two. I think it was two. He was in the movie Gone with the Wind. Um, Some big giant birds and shit. Alright. Okay, he didn't want to get my attention. Okay. Sorry about that, folks, but you know, I don't think it was suicide. I think he was murdered by the Lord of Lemon. You know, because I watched this documentary on George Reeves, and you know, basically, basically. You know, uh, you know, she's like, you know, she tells the party guests, oh, that's George, he's going to go upstairs and shoot himself. Now, how would she know that? You know? And she was having, you know, there's other theories that, you know, that Eddie Maddox, the head of MGM, you know, because, you know, basically, you know, Tony Maddox, who was the wife of uh, Eddie Maddox, you know, that was George Reeves, uh, you know, girl, girl on the side, you know, and that's because, you know, Eddie wanted his wife to be entertained and taken care of, he couldn't do it all the time, so he had George Superman Reeves do the task, you know, plus she bought George a house, and paid for his car, and all that kind of good stuff. George Reeves is a pimp. She got the pimp in Hall of Fame, man. Can, can I do that? Can I put George Reeves in the Pippin Hall of Fame? Like, right now? I mean, come on. He played Superman from 1951 to 1956. Um, you know, and granted he was typecasted for it. He couldn't get much work afterwards. And I get to work with Tony the Tiger, and that's great! I mean, not this Tony the Tiger. Even the Superman, the Christopher Reeve Superman movies had weir really weird food tie-ins like peanut butter. I think I ate the peanut butter when I was a kid. Don't remember it all that much. But when I was searching it uh, for for sound bites and whatnot, um, you know, uh, just some really really weird stuff, weird foods. You know, but I'll get to that when I get to my, my, my third and final rant about food that I'm going to do on this show for quite some time. Unless that knows on food pisses me off. You never know. But, you know, I, you know, met Miss, Miss uh, Ann O'Neill. You know, I've met Jack Larson once back in 1996 at a comic book convention um, in New York. I've... And, uh, even though I, I only bought an autograph and I was kind of shy, I didn't really talk to him. You know, I got my picture taken with, uh, Miss O'Neill and I got an autograph, but I didn't really talk about much because I was hungover. I was Wiz back in Wizard World 2008. But, man, 
I would have loved to have met George. I thank him for all the memories. I mean, you look at the Adventures of Superman. I think it's much better than the 1966 Batman. Now, granted, Oh, Sorry for the second interruption of the show, guys. But, you know, um, you know, I mean, just watch the episode where Lois has the dream where she thinks she marries Superman. Great up. Um, the episode where they kidnap the little girl, and because she's paralyzed, and that's all she wants to have is, like, a day with Superman, and at the end, she. You know, she gets to fly. Just great stuff. I mean, you know, come on. Classic catchphrase is like, Great Caesar's Ghost. And, you know, um, but another interesting thing, by this time, that's when um, Truth, Justice, and the American Way gets inserted into the Superman tagline. Do you listen to the Max Fleischer or the radio show? Up, up, up. You know, Truth and Justice is there, but not the American way. The American way is not introduced into the, the 1954, 1955 television show. You know, interesting stuff. Interesting tidbits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still don't think, I really do think that, that George was murdered. I mean, they found two gunshot wounds. There was extra bullet wounds, bullet holes in the walls. Um... You know, he was probably going to go back to Tony Maddox, because Tony Maddox had more to offer than Lenar Lemon. I mean, you know, so he's probably going to kick that Lemon chick to the curb, you know, and go back with Tony. And, uh, you know, but then again, it could have been... I was told once that hell has no fury like a woman scorned. So, you know, Tony could have had him killed, too. It's possible. You know, 56 years ago, a great actor and someone who should be in the Pimpin' Hall of Fame was lost. The Superman curse claims its first victim. Um, the Superman curse, which is something that Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster put on any actor, um, you know, or any profitable Superman in film and on TV. Now, I, you know, I still don't buy the whole curse, because, you know, the only three major victims, four major victims, five major victims that we know, and you can, if you go on YouTube, you can find a documentary called The Curse of Superman, which is George Reeves, who, who, got, who died of a gunshot, wounded the head, whether it be suicide, self-inflicted, whether it was someone else, you know, whatever. And you got Christopher Reeves, who died in 2004 um, because, because from pyrosis, because, you know, Superman can leap over buildings at a single bound, but, you know, unfortunately, he didn't know how to put a harness on a horse. And I'm not saying that as a cruel joke, but, you know, it's just a tragic accident, and we lost another great actor and humanitarian in 2004 with that. Margaret Kidder, um, in 1996, um, had a nervous breakdown and was homeless in downtown L.A. Richard Pryor and Marlon Brando are the victims. But interestingly enough, Dean Cain wasn't affected all that much. I mean, you look at Dean Cain now, and granted, you know, after Lois and Clark, um... His career sank a little bit, but now he's on uh, Criminal Minds, playing uh, Dr. Spencer. You look at Brandon Ralph, once again. Uh, Brandon Ralph, uh, Superman Returns. Um, he's now Ray Palmer on the Atom, in uh, the DC Cinematic Universe. And it, it didn't affect Tom Welling, even though who knows what the heck happened to Tom Welling, the small bill. Does anyone know what happened to Tom Welling? I don't know. 
I think I'm gonna see if I can interview Tom for the show. That would be awesome sauce. But you know, so my big question to everyone today, and once again, comic pin VIP at Gmail, two one one six seven five two one zero four. Uh y'all think the Superman curse is real? And if so, um you know, should we, you know, get Henry Kennick, or however you pronounce this British dude's name, some protection now? Um, you know, uh, there's just all sorts of weird Hollywood curses, allegedly. The little rascals. And, can Bill, alright, can that shell put eating motherfucker, Bill Cosby, just be least? The Little Rascals, the way they were originally aired on my TV. Just nothing racist about the Little Rascals. Buckwheat is a stereotype. Nothing more, nothing less. What, you don't think Ray, Char Ray Charles wearing dark glasses is a stereotype? You don't think Cheech and Chong is a stereotype of a stoner? Every race has a stereotype, Mr. Cosby. Mr. Fat Albert making Joe chuckle pudding eating motherfucker. So I want my little rascals. Testify! Testify! And with that all being said, I am going to play a sound bite. Transportation. And then the cast of 
Star Trek, creators of Marvel and DC, classic horror and fantasy actors of film and TV, authors Isaac Asimov, Harlan Ellison, Trailblazing, Renaissance visionaries Durango and the historic 70s Manhattan conventions right quote. Blank in 1990, Kramer pioneer mixing categories of pop culture. Left quote, I love comics, film, music, books, non-sport cars, art. I combined the car show, record, show, movie expo, comic and toy con. My events were inspired by my love of the arts. Like Starango, Kirby, Roddenberry, Rod Serling, we recognize the genius of these prophets of science fiction are also ahead of our time. I am honored to hold this expo and chair the auction of the American Legion. Our veterans who sacrificed so much for our freedom are the true heroes. The artists, actors, publishers who donated for our veterans are great Americans. I love blues, folk, rock, classical soundtrack, so I'm pleased to feature music to the right quote. Blank. This family-oriented event has something for everyone. Left quote, we will be honoring the Cochran's and Herb Trip on our tribute panel. Herb, we recently lost. Just two days after I conducted for access vital interview, Air Force pilot, Vietnam vet, Hulk artist, Wolverine co-creator, Trim enjoyed flying this. I played over the Cochran home and buzzing of Daily Vet, Dave Cochran created Storm, Type Color, Colossus, Phoenix for the X Dash Men. He passed several years back and is survived by his wife, Katie. She is currently working as an artist and producer on Dave's surviving thumbnails of his vital mutorians. Graphic novel, please tell your friends and bring the entire family to the right quote. Land free admission, all are welcome. Celebrity guests, many free autographs, publishers, editors, writers, new books not off the presses, you can't miss. This one, left quote, I am so grateful to these giants in the industry like Sparanko, Adams, actors, musicians from shows like The Munsters, The Monkeys, Family, Guy, Star Trek, all who donate, contribute, support vets, and this expo to the right quote. Blank Kramer is an artist, journalist, historian, producer, promoter, phone left bearing 570, right bearing 828 7722. Kramer is an artist. Yep. There you have that. That's, you know, of course, our good friend Joe Kramer's uh, event at the uh, Legion Hall 91 in Warren on the 28th, uh, which is next Sunday, believe it or not. Man, this year's going fast. Um, and can someone please explain to me, what the heck happened to Joe Cullen? I mean, I used to drink that stuff by the gallon. Now Joe Cullen, two times the caffeine, two times the sugar, two times the fun. No, it's like a big-breasted chick. It's like the most awesomest, amazing soda pop ever made. And one day it just vanished off the shelves. And I discovered things like Red Bull, Monster, Rockstar... Um, Star, Starbucks, Five Shot Energy, SK Energy Shots, Abduction Energy. But I want to know what happened to the godfather of the energy drinks. The grandfather, even, of the energy drinks. Where the fuck is my joke called? I mean, I think I saw it on Amazon in a very limited supply. But if anybody can tell me where I can buy joke called in a store in the New York City area, just let me know. That would be awesome sauce. And speaking of food, you know what really grinds my gears? You know what really grinds my gears? Stop mocking me! You stop mocking me, Stewie. Stop mocking me! Yeah. You know. I just read that trans fats, you know, the stuff that gives all the good food its flavor, is being going to be removed in the next couple of years. Now, I had to turn the scores half backwards. I had to you know, scores West 28th Street between 10th and 11th Avenue, the official strip club of the Awesome Sauce Comics podcast, by the way. Um, you know, uh, you know, what? I mean, not only do we have way too many choices for food today, not only do we get like a food commercial every other five seconds when you're trying to watch a half an hour TV show, but, you know, because you made us all, you know, and you, no one can be fucking fat and proud anymore. Everyone's got to like lose weight and be in shape and eat right and healthy and portions and, 
you know, no gluten and whatever the fuck gluten is anyways. You know, well, that's why gluten was a homeboy. Uh, but, you know, why? Why, 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 why? Every time I turn around, there's something... Oh my god, I remember the trans fat from frozen pizza, and it leads to heart, heart failure, and disease, and that's the apocalypse, and all this other bullshit. Oh boy. Man, can we just stop? Can we please just stop with this trying to, like, everyone has to, like, look the same, and eat the same, and be the same, and we all have to be healthy, and, you know, you know, all the good stuff that makes food, that means, that's, that means a frozen pizza is not going to taste like vagina. And not the good vagina either, the, the skanky vagina. And, you know, they're going to take all the, fl the good flavoring out of microwave popcorn, so you got to, like, go buy extra butter on your own. Ah, it's just, it's irritating. Why? Why, 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 why? I mean, doesn't our government know? That we are human beings, we have freedom of choice. Of course, well, that's what makes America great, by the way. Freedom of choice, freedom of speech. You can choose to have your own, whatever religion you want. You can choose. But, I mean, now, granted, we should exercise some self control. You know, self control. Because I know if I go and I eat McDonald's like five times a day, it's not going to be good. My heart, my kidneys, and my liver are all going to shut down, and I'm going to go pushing up daisies. No shit, Sherlock. I mean, but, you know, if you have, like, a healthy breakfast, and maybe you have, like, a Big Mac for lunch, and you eat, like, a healthy dinner, and you see that, like, once, a couple times a month, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I had McDonald's last week when I saw Jurassic World. And congratulations to Jurassic World for being the number one movie in the world right now. 520 million strong. Um, but, you know. Uh, I just, it's bullshit, man. You know, in, the, in the, today's America, the Redskins have to have their name changed because it offends people after 40 some odd years. You can't make a an insensitive joke to anyone of any race, creed, or color. Um, you know, I really it just it's irritating. And now they're gonna take all the all the fatty foods away. They're gonna change them. They're gonna alter them. Then they're gonna make them healthy. And I say it's bullshit. We should just exercise our own control and it just try to be insane in the membrane, insane in the brain, yo. Ah, it's irritating now. I mean, can't even get a good cookie no more. I mean, come on, I man. Mayor Bloomberg, when he was in office, tried to have, you know, big gulps taken away, but 7 Eleven stopped that shit. I mean, having a big gulp every now and then is not gonna kill you. Because yet, you guys will. Attack fast food and junk food and trans fats, but you let cigarettes stay around. I mean, granted, you tax the shit out of them, but I mean, you let dumb motherfuckers put nicotine in their lungs day and night. But fast food and trans fat is the bad guy. What's up with that? I want ants. Fuck that. You know what? Uh, Hang on. And in other, and I guess normally I would have I would have some comic books to like I think that you should invest in. You know, normally I would talk about movies or TV or something I saw. Today I'm just all over the place. I don't apologize for it. I don't have a format today. You know, I, I'm paying my respects to Mr. George Reeve who passed away in 1959 on today's date. You know, have much love for the Superman TV show. Uh, it was on Nick, I, I mean, I used to catch it on WPIX and Nickelodeon. 
I buy and sell the DVDs every time I see them. I've watched many documentaries. Still don't think George Reeves committed suicide. No said. You know, paying my respect to Christopher Reeves. You know, who... The Jurassic... The Lowe's Classic in Jersey City, um, 54 General Square, Jersey City, New Jersey, 201-798-6655, just re uh, Saturday showed the, uh, you know, um, first Superman movie with Christopher Reeve on the big screen in their classic, beautifully renovated theater in Jersey City. Um, pay my respect to him. Many, many, many memories. You know? Yeah. Try to understand why, 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 you know, thanks to the, all this political correct bullshit, you wouldn't have Superman peanut butter today. You wouldn't have, well, maybe, but it wouldn't be so publicized. Because we had to protect the children, and we can't let them eat all fatty stuff. You know, it's been being done since the beginning of fucking time. Just bullshit. Alright, enough about that. You know, uh, but you know, it's just the way it is. And with that, I'm going to say, one foot in the gutter, one fist in the cold, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. Um, I'm going to go find some more epic, listen to some more epic rack battles of history, see what comics are coming out this week. And I might do a second episode, 37.A. Later on today, if we're going to go with the Marvel renumbering structure, um, I guess it would be 37.1. Uh, Alright, man. Bye-bye. Peace out. To the hoo. Stop recording. 3830 canceled. 3840 canceled. Stop recording. Enter.